Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today we're starting 3.4, solving problems using acute triangles. It says a flag pole supported by guy wires from the top pole to point on the ground of the opposite sides of the pole. One of the wires is 6.8 meters long and, and rises with an elevation of 58 degrees. The other wire, wire sorry, is 7.4 meters long. What would the angle of elevation uh, be for this wire? So, draw a quick diagram. Something similar to that. Okay, so we know that we have uh, an angle, we're looking for an angle from the opposite side, and we have an angle on the other side. So we have a uh, side-side angle, so we know we have the law of sines. So we'll uh, take the formula for law of sines, and then we'll fill in what we know. All right, so the side opposite of uh, we'll look for angle B, so that's theta. You can put theta in here if you want, or you can leave it B, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. Oh. So if you put theta in the circle, it doesn't make a difference. The opposite side of B was uh, 6, 7, 1, 8. Sine C, angle C was 58 degrees. So 58 for C. Uh, upper C and then lower C was the side opposite that, and that was uh, seven times four. There's a diagram. So then we're going to solve. So both sides get multiplied by six decimal eight. Multiply both sides by six decimal eight. Right. So we do that to six decimal eight. And the 6, 7, 8 divides gone, leaving with sine theta. That's what we want it. Right? So all we have here left is sine theta. Into the 6, 7, 8 sine 58 divided by 7, 7, 4. So we'll do this on our calculator. So we'll grab our calculator. We have sine, or sorry. We have 6, 7, 8. Sine of 58. I'll divide it by, make sure you close your bracket, I'll divide it by 7 decimal 4. We get 0 decimal 7, 7, 8, 2, and so on. So we get 0 decimal 7, 7, 9, 2, 8, 7, and so on. So I'm going to leave that number in my calculator. So that means state is equal to. Yes, theta equal to inverse sine. This should be red, sorry about that. Of that number there. Zero decimal seven seven nine two eight seven and so on. So on our calculator what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the inverse sine of that number. Right? So um that number was, remember, 6 decimal 8 sine 58, close bracket divided by 7 decimal 4, so our 0 decimal 7, and we do second function, second function sine, and we second function answer, and what that allows you to do is take that number, take the inverse sine of that, and we get 51 decimal 195, so we get an angle of 51 decimal 1, oh, sorry, 51 decimal 195, and so on. It says to the nearest degree, so that means that theta, is equal to 52 degrees. 52 degrees. Okay? And that's it. So what would the angle be for the elevation? The angle of elevation is? The angle of elevation is 52 degrees. And that's it. Let's look at example number two. Example number two says a park is in the shape of a triangle. One side of the park is 62 kilometers and runs east to west. All right, so that's going to be a horizontal line. Then it says uh, a surveyor determines that the other two sides are in the direction of uh, south 
32 decimal, sorry, 33 decimal two east, so that's 32, 33 decimal two degrees east of south. So we always go off the vertical. And then the other one is 29 decimal six, uh, south 29 decimal six degrees west, so that's 29 decimal six degrees west of south. So that's what this looks like here. So these are the two directions they have. All right, so I made a triangle ABC. All right, first one was 32 degrees east of south, so it creates an angle here. Remember, this line is horizontal, it said it ran east to west, right? So that means that the inside angle of the triangle would be 90 minus 33 decimal two, which would give us 56 decimal eight. Same thing over here, this, that other second angle was 29 decimal six degrees uh, west of south, so it makes it with the vertical line. Remember, we had the horizontal line here at 62, so that creates a 90 degree angle. So these lines, these angles are, are complementary. So we get the 60 decimal four for, by taking 90 and subtracting 29 decimal six. So if it wants to find the perimeter, so we need A and B. We do know angle C because if we have two angles in a triangle, we can easily calculate angle C. So angle C is just simply adding these two and subtracting them from 180, the property that we learned um, a little earlier, right? So we'll find that now. So angle C is equal to 180. Uh, minus 56, which when I this will give me 62 decimal eight when I subtract all those those two angles. Okay, so that's his angle C down here. So I know the side opposite of one of the angles. So now I can use the sine law twice to work these out. So I'll find side B first. So what we're going to do is we want to take this. We want to take the reciprocal one of these, right? So let's do the reciprocal of this. So I'll take the reciprocal here, and remember, we have to have three knowns. So I know, I'm looking for side A, I know angle A, I know angle C now, I just found it, and I know side C. So plug in what we know. Side A is what we're looking for, angle A is... 56 decimal 8, side C is 62, angle C is 62 decimal 8. So we calculate it up here. Multiply both sides by sine 56 decimal 8. And we get this. And then we're going to solve for A. Go to our calculators. We'll plug that in. I'll do that with you. So we get 62 sine 56 decimal 8, close my bracket, divided by the sine of 62 decimal 8, close my bracket, hit enter, I get 58 decimal 329 degrees. Okay? Or sorry, uh, 58 decimal 329 uh, kilometers. My apologies. 8 decimal 329 says to the nearest kilometer. We'll leave that there and then we'll rail when we're done. Okay? We'll leave that there for now. So we're going to do the same thing with the sign again. Only this time we're going to be looking for B. So we can substitute that for B and B, right? C is all going to stay the same. I'm going to steal this for a second. This time we're looking for B. And we got angle B at 60 decimal 4. All right. So steal this again. I'm just so that we know that B is equal to. 62 multiplied by another sign is to sine of 60 decimal 4. Alright. And that's going to give us B equal to. And we'll do that on the calculator again. Go to the calculator. Put in 62 sine 60 decimal 4. Close my bracket. Divide it by the sine of 62 decimal 8. Close my bracket. And I get 60 decimal 611. 60 decimal 611. 
because it's 6.4 kilometers. Okay. So the perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. Right? So the perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C, which is equal to that A plus B plus C. Equal to, we add those three numbers together. We get 58.33 plus 60.61 plus 62. We get 180.94. So our final answer is the perimeter is equal to 181 kilometers because it's set to the nearest kilometer. So around when I'm done, so that's the final answer there. Determine the perimeter, and then the perimeter is 181 kilometers. So that's the distance from A, B, B to C, C back to A. Turn around the way around. All right, that's it for this video. In the next uh, video, we're going to finish the chapter. We'll look at examples two, sorry, examples three, and example number four, and then there's some homework questions to finish out the chapter. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope the videos are helping and we'll talk again soon.